so that, that sort of just brings up, uh, you know, fiber. You know, this is this is something that pe- people just push, push, push. You know, say so you have to have fiber. So you're, you're not going to be able to run your bowels properly. You're going to get cancer. You're going to get, uh, uh, you know, all sorts of different, uh, dis- you know, hor- you know, organ dysfunction, you know, in, in your GI tract. Uh, what is what is the veracity of this? Is there any evidence to suggest whatsoever that we we actually need uh, any amount of fiber? I've actually researched this quite a bit because you know there are some very legitimate healthcare authorities out there mm-hmm. who talk about fiber as if it is biblical. Like you can't even argue with this, or you need to go live on the outskirts of the village and just be an outcast because <laughs> you don't make good sense. And so I looked into this and basically it all originated back a few decades back with a very brilliant doctor who did a lot of good medical research, Dr. Burkett. And he actually uh, named a few uh, different uh, tumors Mm -hmm. and did some really good medical work. But he was in Africa uh, studying cancer and he noticed that people in Africa ate a high fiber diet and they made ginormous amounts of fecal matter every day Mm -hmm. and he also noticed that they had a very low rate of colon cancer Mm -hmm. and so he thought hmm have gigantic poops and and you eat lots of plants which is full of full of fiber and they don't have any colon cancer but he obviously didn't think well these people are eating an ancestrally appropriate diet that they've been eating for thousands of years Mm -hmm. that's not highly processed not full of grains and so, yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're going to be, have a low level of inflammation and a low level of cancer. And so he basically said, eat a lot of fiber, poop a lot, and, you, and you're, you're, you're going to, you know, have a clean colon and not have cancer. And that became the mantra of the entire plant-based movement back then, even before it was considered plant-based. Um, and that's where it came from, literally. So there has not been a single uh single or double-blinded controlled study or just a control study uh, there hasn't been a single placebo control study that proves that shows causation that the more fiber you eat the less cancer you have the only thing they have is observational epidemiological research that shows a possible association yeah. between eating more fiber and lower rates of colon cancer or the converse uh, eating less fiber and having a higher rate of colon cancer they show a possible weak association. That is literally the state of the art of research about fiber and colon cancer. And so <clears throat> a lot of people, when I first say that, they're like, that can't be right. Because my doctor, my doctor's behemoth. I'm like, my God, you must eat fiber. And my doctor's very rational and smart. My doctor would not get that emotional about fiber <laughs> unless there were convincing research that fiber was essential. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry, but your doctor, although well-meaning and a good fellow, is currently ignorant on this fact. And I'm happy to help educate him or her so that they'll stop saying stupid things. And indeed, that's why I wrote my book, was to help doctors stop saying stupid things that, that basically hurt the profession, the practice of medicine, when you say stupid shit. And then it turns out that it's obviously stupid. And people are like, okay, well, if you're wrong about that, doctor, what else are you wrong about? Yeah. So healthcare providers need to be very careful with their language. They need to be very careful what they say is essential, what they say is mandatory, what they say you must do. Because if not, the the entire practice of medicine is just going to become a farce that the the average person, they're going to be going back to the witch doctor because they can't trust the medical doctor. And so... Uh, a lot of doctors looked at my book as an attack on medicine, but really it's my attempt to save medicine from itself, from saying the stupid things, the ignorant things like uh, phyto, you must eat lots of phytonutrients and you must eat lots of fiber, neither of which have been proven to be true yet after decades of trying. Yeah. And... Uh...